Uh, we're talking about quarterback visits. It's Dukes and Bell Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Will Levis is visiting the Falcons this week. Um, as I said on social media. You get a gift bag when you do that? I don't know. I don't know what you get. I mean, you get a handshake and uh, maybe, you know, a logo or something. I have no idea. But... I got your Falcons bat soap for you. <laughs> and an autograph hate by Ted about the blank. Thanks for your time. But, you know, this idea, like the Colts are at four. Everybody's putting him now potentially to go to the Colts at four. Makes sense. But he's not Andrew Luck. And maybe I'm too close to this. But when Andrew Luck came out, guys, the comparison was John Elway. Yeah. He was that good. And then he steps in after they move on from Peyton Manning, and we forget. They go to the playoffs. First year. So I know his career got cut short, but just from a talent standpoint, Will Evans is not Andrew Luck. So I don't know if that's what they're trying to go for there. But, Mike, here we are again visiting with quarterbacks. By the way, uh, Hendon Hooker is going to visit with the Lions on Tuesday. The Hendon Hooker moving up the the draft board thing is still Mm. out there. And I think that uh, if we had started, if, the, if he finished the season without the injury, he would be above Will Evans to start the to start the agree. to start the I would agree. right? Yes, exactly. yeah. No, there's no doubt about it. Here are some of the guys the Falcons are talking to. By the way, you get 30 visits. For those people who don't know this, it's not unlimited. You only get a certain amount, hmm. and then once you hit that amount, you're done. So, Mike, here's the deal: you can't invite everybody to come. So you're inviting guys you're truly interested in talking to. Or would like teams to think you're truly interested in. Well, I think probably half of these, that may be the case. I think there's probably about 10 of these, and you disguise them, right? I mean, again, they're not going to tell us, hey, we're absolutely interested in Quentin Johnson, the kid out of TCU, because, Mike, he's been here. Keon White has talked to the Falcons. Bama's defensive back Brian Branch has talked to us. And when I say talk to us, he's been here. Um, you know, uh, Jonathan Mingo, the kid, the wide receiver out of, uh, I think it's Miss State. Mm-hmm. They've talked to all these guys. These are guys that you kind of go, wait a minute, why are we talking to this guy? Maybe they're truly interested, maybe they're not. But I will say this, Mike, they also talked to Ty J. Uh, Spears. You know who he is? No. Running back from Tulane. He is a dude. Now, I've seen, by the way, for what it's worth, he's available in, like, later rounds and mock drafts. He is. Yeah. He was here two days. Okay. I'm just letting you guys know. And if you remember, these are names. Hey, and if you follow Tulane, their amazing run all the way to the ball, that's a tremendous athlete. He's a dude. Now, if you're going to tell me, hey, Dukes, we're not going to go B. John Robinson at eight because we just can't. The investment, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to go Spears later in the – I'm all good with that. And I just think people, just because Tyler Algier did have a 1,000 yards, and it was like it's we don't get many 1,000-yard seasons around this team. But I still think every good team, unless you have a Derrick Henry, or you know, it's, there's not many guys that are doing the workhorse thing. You've got to have it. Otherwise, you break down. And we've seen that's why the running backs don't get the big money. So you get, you're still going to be looking for a back. Got no problem with that. No. I want a wide receiver in the middle rounds. Don't want to go crazy. You know, Don't want to overreach for a wide receiver. I think we've got a good enough wide receiver core.